think Izzy wants these actually. What do you think about my new sneakers? <laughs> They're on his wish list right now. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys, it's Ian. We got some shoes here to buy today. Um, we're gonna start with a Arzuret 10 and a half. This is the latest 700 V3. People really like this one. Sakai Waffle. Black Nylon. Little Baby. Travis Scott Cactus 270. And then what everybody wants nowadays Dunks and these are the uh, ACG all conditions gear. That's it, about to cash out on the Arzuret. You want to do 355 on this one? Yeah, 355. Sakai waffle. What are you thinking on this one? I like 265. 265? That's cool. Do that. It's the 8.5 ACG. I can do 275. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, 260 on the 12. Yeah, cool. For the little toddler shoe, 140. Yeah. Cool. What does that come out to? Uh, twelve ninety-five. Perfect. This guy right here? Yeah, so I'm in the parking lot. They had a bunch of champs bag. Oh really? They're like, are you gonna resell this? I was like, yeah. Switch out way and they're like, what's that? Yeah. That's super dope. <laughs> Hell yeah. That just Hell became yeah. two eighty-five, two ninety. Yeah. <laughs> I get a referral code. Referral code, bro. <laughs> Cool. Go. Appreciate you coming through, man. And that's what I do around here. Master Chef Ian. Buying shoes all day. All right. $2,224. Bro, why you got a backpack on? Oh, bro, I don't know. I was supposed to take this off. You always look like you're going to class. Maybe I am. College kids. College kids. Hey. You know, hardworking man. Hard work, he, is a hard, he is a hardworking man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. Yeah, he told me the story. Yeah. That's dope. They seen him and they were like, where are you taking those to? Yeah. It was like, he said it's about here, so he was like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> about to go to the other shoe plug down. It's not too far from here, too, so. Dope. Fuck, it's a shopping day, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We appreciate y'all, boys. Man, no, I appreciate y'all for having a good store. Yeah, oh, yeah that shit dope. Is right now. <laughs> Last to get cut, always, because my haircut takes the longest, because I have AB do the edge ups with the razors on my face and the part in my head. So I usually let everybody else get cut before me. Concept behind the haircuts, cleanliness is an investment. I say it all the time, cleanliness is an investment. If people see you clean and cut and sharp, they'll want to invest in you. A lot of things cost a lot of money in my store, and I feel like if my guys are clean and always in the latest drip and hype that's coming out, then it's a better selling point for a lot of the people that come in here because I want everybody to look the part along with playing the part. And so that's part of the reason why I pay for everybody's haircuts. I think it's more of an investment into the company that helps for a better outcome. So that's one of the main reasons behind it, man. And on top of that, like when the new stuff comes out, I lace them up with all the gear, all the drip, all the newest stuff, anti-social v loan pay. I, you know, I toss these guys all sorts of stuff because I want the whole squad to look A1 when they're in here. I want everybody to feel comfortable and I want the customers to feel comfortable shopping, knowing that they can trust these guys' input based on how their appearance is. Baby comes every other week, cuts everybody's hair, he used to, Cut for us at our old boutique, uh, my old stomping grounds, collective status. It's kind of where we all started bonding, and then once we all left, he kind of followed us there. Followed me to the warehouse, and then he followed me here. So he's been he's been cutting me for about six, seven years now. I wouldn't trust anybody else. I feel like I've been having the same haircut too since day one. Damn yeah, here. and then I feel like every now and then we've been talking about chopping it or coloring it or hairstyle. something, but I haven't done anything yet. You guys ever want to get cut by AB? High and tight, high and tight barbershop. My boy Corey Good. Shout out Corey Good. The highest of the tightest.
Sorry, big dog. Oh, no, man. The day has come. Man, you looking vaped out today? Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like ASAP Rocky in a brand new video. I'm camel down to my boxes. Go teeth, obey the name. For real, though. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? We're today? doing a trade right now. Okay. I'm gonna trade four items and some cash for what's in this box right here. I've been wanting these shoes for a long time, so we're gonna run through it real quick. We're gonna start with the big boy first, so. Right, so first I'm gonna trade the Call Slay. This is the gray edition. It goes for like 11.50 on StockX. I'm gonna give it to the store for like 900. So 900. We're gonna do the rubberized, off-white rubberized dunk. Came out about a month ago. Not my favorite colorway. I prefer the white one. I think Larry just got the yellow one coming in. That's his favorite. And these go anywhere from like 250 to three, maybe a little bit up depending on size. I was thinking maybe like 250. We'll give it to the store for. That put you at 1150. So 1150. Next, Michigan High Dunk. Definitely not my favorite. Hard colorway to match. I already have the lows of the off white ones. Only thing I really wear with is my Jesus is King merch, which in doubt I'm not complaining at all. But I hit on sneakers app and definitely can't, win. can't turn that down. They're going for like 250, 300 on StockX. I'll just do 250. 250? Yeah, that way. 1450. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! No, that's 1350. Oh, 1350. Math, 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 math. Last but not least, and one. Anniversary laser edition. This was gonna be a gonna be my workout shoe. It really was, but I got bigger and better things in plan. So anywhere from like one to two, I'd say, and I'll just like go for like 150. 150 it is. To that 1550. I'm gonna put some cash on top too. So was that 1550? I'm gonna put 400 dollars on top. Puts us at 1950. 1950. So I'm paying $19.50 worth of trades for, I'm gonna give y'all a little, little sneak peek. Might have to legit check these. But, uh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Man, you ain't gotta legit check anything. <laughs> Bam. It's probably gonna be one of my hardest off-whites that I own. And I've been wearing these forever. He's been asking for these for a while. And if you don't know, AJ1s are my silhouette. That's what I rock with. I got the 88s on today. But that's just uh, Lazy that's some Tuesday. some light. It's an exception. But yeah, man, I'm gonna have these. Yeah, Super dope. Sure Y'all legit check everything. Yeah, everything. Come on. Man. <laughs> no, yeah, you good. You good. You good. You good. You good. You good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, big slice. All right, big, big slice. slice. Let's go. Probably wondering what's in the box. Make sure you don't slice. I'm gonna get in there. This actually came pretty quick because y'all know how Travis stuff is coming. Wait. Late. <laughs> late. You drop all that bread and then you like forgot about it. What is that? Are you doing this with no instructions right now? Hold on, man. <laughs> Get your instructions. Hold on, right here. All right, help me out. Step one: unfold and lay, <laughs> lay Sandy and Easel on a smooth, clean. <laughs> Yo, Izzy, look at Izzy, what you doing? Oh, everybody's just looking like me today. Bro. Jimmy, 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 everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. I, mean, I, guess I got one now. And lay Sandy and Easel on a smooth, clean surface. Step two. Like this? Yep. Okay. Remove the backing from the adhesive tape. And then stick it to it? I guess. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're definitely fucking this up. Turn Standy over. Standy? Yeah, they're calling him Standy. <laughs> Turn Standy over. <laughs> Yo, Standy. First instruction how to assemble your Standy. Uh huh. All right, Standy. Standy's coming right Turn up. Turn Standy over so that craft, aka the brown side, is facing up while holding easel 30 degrees. Standy, line up spotter marks on craft side. Okay. That looks like it. Yep. And then you're just gonna press firmly down the middle. That's it. All right. Okay. So now you're gonna firmly press easel on Standy. You're doing that. Next, you're gonna pull from the sides of the easel. Okay. So basically, you're gonna fold both sides in like a hot dog. Okay. Left and right, yep, just like that. It's, oh, I see it. Yeah. And then you pull these things up. Yeah, exactly. And those are the locking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. Yeah. What big McDonald's did y'all steal this from? Bro, we stole this from. It came on the drop. There's McDonald's next door. We really took it from there. What we didn't tell you is maybe the hash brown bandit man stole it. 
Yeah, yeah, the half crown bandit spot. Alright, you about to turn Standy? Standy. Uh, Alright, Standy. Standy out Stand here. right there. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Standy. He's like, come eat this shit. It's just me and Standy chilling. It's popping. Dope, though. Look, look at Sandy. You know what Sandy is? I don't know who shit is. Go outside. Let's go look at Sandy. Sandy just started his first day over here. What in the hell is wrong with you guys? Bro, it's Sandy. We, we had to go over to the McDonald's next door to steal this. You stole that? <laughs> it's Jacob's birthday today, so we're gonna bless him with some sneakers. Just so happens that he wants one of the shoes that we just got in a bunch of. Texted me, said, hey, Ian, for the Jordan 1 Smoke Crate and the Easy 350 Natural Size Level Fun, how much can I get them for? Free. For free. What? Say, Jacob. Hmm? What's today? Uh, today is November 3rd. And what does that make that for you? Is it Tuesday? Okay. And what is this special date for you? It's my birthday today, I think. How old did you turn? I turned 23. No one's going to like me anymore. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, it's a Blink-182 reference. For all your normies out there who don't know that. <laughs> so check it out. Jacob used to rock with uh, True Religion downstairs. That's how we first met him. I've been friends with us for almost two years now, I feel like, right? Yeah. Definitely from the beginning, it's, I feel it's like. It's been two years. Um, finally had an opportunity to bring Jacob on board. And so he runs the back warehouse with Ian. He does all the inventorying and the online and the e-commerce for our company. And to show love and gratitude on your birthday, big dog, uh, Ian had said something about you wanting something, a specific shoe that just released. Why? So, Aww. open it up, open it up, big dog. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you, what'd you get for your birthday? That's a natural. Show the world. Show them. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy Big birthday, Dog. Jacob. Thank you, guys. Happy birthday, Big Dog. Thanks, man. You know we got love for you, man. Aww. Happy birthday, Jacob. Happy birthday, man. Here you go.